What, Mike? Mm -hmm. Mike's famous. All right, guys. This is what a thousand dollar drive shaft is. <laughs> I'm so glad that you're able to like do that now. That's awesome. <laughs> What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Pantsis. This is our 2008 Saab 93 Turbo X. And if you are new to the channel, we purchased this car about three months ago now off Coparts. The car was neglected and had a lot of problems with it. Suspension, drive shaft, paint problems, rust problems, tons of problems. Be sure to check out the playlist of all those videos so you guys can learn about what was done. And also, if you have a Saab 93, some other things that you may know how to fix if you have those issues. So, today is breaking news. We finally, finally took title. I got all the paperwork situated with uh, the shipping company. We took title of the state of New Jersey. We now have registration insurance, which we've had. And we're gonna go ahead, install, of our, install our new plates, and go ahead and take this thing on its first drive. That is pretty good looking guys. I am super excited. So let's go ahead, take this thing on its first ride. Yeah, boys. All right, guys, welcome back into the Saab Turbo X. I am, uh, I drove it a little bit ago to get some gas. I filled up the tires. The car's running pretty good. The tires are completely shot on this thing. There's almost zero tread. Um, so obviously it's nice weather out today, so I don't have to worry too much, but for the tires being shot, the car runs pretty smooth. I mean, if I get up to 80 miles an hour, I get a little bit of vibration, but it's really to be expected based on the condition of those, those tires. So we will, re we will be replacing those at the moment, taking my first real highway drive, uh, to the Saab shop local to me. If you haven't been watching the build, um, I, I broke a bolt inside the uh, differential that se helps secure the um, drive shaft. So right now we're running front wheel drive. Anyways, I don't have the proper leverage or strength to do to drill that out on the uh, on the ground because uh, another drill bit had broken inside the bolt. It's it's a mess, you know. So what we're gonna do is fix the camera so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drive to the shop and get it on the lift have him look at it maybe he can get it out without having to replace the whole unit because that will save me some money i think that unit is like two three hundred bucks where the drive shaft attaches to but i'll keep you posted we're gonna film i'll see you over there Guys, we are at the Saab shop, Greco Brothers Saab. This is Mike. Yep. <laughs> Mike owns this shop here in Booton, New Jersey. He's gonna help me dissect this uh, differential bolt here that's stuck in there. So we're gonna get under there and uh, work on it. It's got a lot of Saabs. Yeah, I have the shaft out. All right, guys, so we are actually under the car now. He's gonna inspect that. Uh, so Mike's the real sob doctor here. He's gonna torch this thing, take it out. Lucifer. Sob doctor of North Jersey. North Jersey, New York, he's got people from Vermont. Give you a little bit of a tour. This is all, all his personal collections here. It's a 900. Beautiful stuff. Does, he's done some wild stuff. Wild, wild stuff. Bam, bam, bam. I feel that heat from yeah, over here. No what, Mike? Mm -hmm. Mike's famous. Thank you. 
now we gotta get the rest of that bolt out. So we got we got the bolt out, and uh, they're gonna go ahead now and retap that hole. Should be good. All right, guys, we are back from the shop. It's a couple of days later here where they drilled out that bolt that was stuck in the spindle for the differential there. So we're gonna go ahead now, we're gonna pull out the new drive shaft, we're gonna lift this car up, we're gonna go ahead and bolt it all up there, disconnect everything. Just so you guys know on the record, I got my hand dandy nap in here, the brackets that attach to the bottom of the car, the torque spec on those are 14.7, and then on the joint, that goes to where the uh, differential is. Those are 22.1. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna bolt this thing up. Let's do it, guys. Just so you know, we have new stretch bolts for the joint. These use a T45 Torx bit, and then the bolts that hold the bracket in place, those are 13 millimeters. All right, guys, this is what a thousand dollar drive shaft is. <laughs> I'm so glad that you're able to like do that now, that's awesome. This is uncomfortable, but we're doing it. All right guys, now that we have two started, I'm gonna secure this bracket here so this whole thing is secured properly. was probably the most nerve-wracking part of this entire rebuild was taking care of that besides for some of the other thing I don't know oh that was a that was a one of the besides for the title issue that was one of the most uh, annoying most annoying parts of this rebuild here this rehab so let's go ahead I'm gonna clean up some of this mess I'm gonna change the position of the car and put it on ramps we're gonna change the oil and just take it on the block just to see how it rides I guess it's more like an inch and a half. Inch and a half, boom. I bought zero W40. That was one of the recommended uh, oil specs. I bought uh, full synthetic mobile one. By the way, I'm not a big Walmart shopper myself. But Walmart seems to have the cheapest oil out of anybody in the area. So if you need to change your oil on your Saab and you want cheap mobile one, go to Walmart. And I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm using a man filter. 
basic filter I bought off, uh, I think, eSabParts.com or eEuroParts. I'm one of them. So let me close this garage. We'll get underneath there. That was a success. Let's go ahead now, top this off with six quarts of fresh oil. Go on our way. Alright guys, I'm about to go take this thing for the first spin, real true spin with all wheel drive, fresh oil change. Stay tuned for the next video because in the next video we're going to cruise this thing, we're going to take it out on the road, we're going to get it going, and we're going to finalize this build. We're going to finish it up in the next couple weeks here, so stay tuned. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, drop, out, drop a comment below, give me your feedback, give me as many likes as possible so YouTube continues to spread the love of my videos here. So. Yeah. We'll see you guys next time. You rock as always. Thank you.